It's May 26th, 2025. The digital town square is buzzing, as it always is. And then Brett Adcock, the main man at Figure AI, decides to casually light a firework. He posts this image online, deliberately blurry, of course, because why give away the whole show in Act 1? It's a humanoid robot, no doubt about it. And the caption, F03, is officially walking. This is the most advanced hardware I've ever seen. Coming from a guy who lives and breathes this stuff, who's seen the guts as more robots than most of us have had hot dinners, that's not just a casual compliment. That's a proclamation. It's like a master chef saying, this is the best ingredient I've ever worked with. You immediately know something special is on the menu. The ripples from that single post, huge. Okay, let's start with figure AI. Where the hell did this creature come from? They're not some dusty tech giant grinding away since dial-up was a thing. Nah, Figure AI popped up in 2022, founded by Brett Adcock in the grand scheme of things, that's like, yesterday. And they weren't messing about with vague mission statements or 10-year plans that sound good on paper but never quite materialize. And the money? Oh, the money has been pouring in. We're talking big names, serious players like OpenAI and Microsoft, throwing their weight behind them. Though, as we'll get into, that OpenAI partnership has taken an interesting, some might say eyebrow-raising, turn. Their progress has been nothing short of insane, almost defying belief. Figure 01, their firstborn, strutted its stuff in 2023. Then, Figure 02 wasn't just a refined prototype. It started shipping to actual paying customers, big league clients like BMW, in December 2024. That's speed. And now, Figure 03. Each iteration has been a bigger, bolder statement. This is where the it goes from impressive tech company to is this sci-fi. Adcock's post was a masterclass in teasing, but the whispers, the industry chatter, the breadcrumbs they've strategically dropped, they all point to something pretty nuts. We're not just talking about a robot that can walk without tripping over its own feet. We're talking about a machine with dexterity, with a finesse in its movements that's getting unnervingly, almost eerily, close to human. The absolute beast here, the secret source, is likely their new AI model, Helix. They pulled the curtain back on this a bit in February 2025, and it's not just an upgrade, it's a different way of thinking about robot brains. This isn't a single monolithic AI struggling to do everything at once. Helix is a dual system architecture. Imagine it like this, one part of its brain is the sophisticated intellectual, capable of high-level reasoning. It can understand what you're saying in plain, conversational English, no need for weird, stilted robot commands. You can tell it, hey, can you grab that box and put it on the top shelf? And it gets it. The other part of its brain is the lightning-fast athlete, responsible for super-responsive, real-time motor control. The upshot? You could, theoretically, tell Figure AI's O3 to do something it's never done before, with an object it's never encountered. And it can figure it out. They even showcase this with a video. And these demos are always carefully curated, but still, of two robots working together to put away groceries. One hands a can to the other, they figure out where it goes on the shelf. That's not just following instructions, that's semantic understanding, that's spatial awareness, that's coordinated action. That, my friends, is a glimpse of the future. Humanoid robots have been the dream for decades. We've seen impressive demos from various labs and companies, robots that can do a backflip or dance a jig. Cool? Absolutely. Practical for everyday work? Not so much. Figure AI's O3 is most heavily engineered attempt to build that bridge and walk confidently across it. It's designed from the ground up with mass manufacturing in mind. It's engineered for scalability, for reliability, for cost effectiveness. This changes the entire conversation. It's no longer just about what a robot can do in a controlled demo. It's about what thousands of these robots will do, day in and day out, in actual industries. If they can pull this off, if Figure O3 lives up to even a fraction of the hype, it could genuinely start to address persistent labor shortages in key sectors. It could fundamentally change how a lot of jobs get done, freeing up human workers from tasks that are dull, dirty, or dangerous. That's not just an incremental improvement. That's a potential paradigm shift. Figure AI is playing chess while others are playing checkers. Figure O3 isn't just about smart software. It's about incredibly smart hardware design. How do you make a humanoid robot affordable? you get ruthless about manufacturing efficiency, and the results speak for themselves. 
They've managed to take some components that previously required over a week of meticulous work on CNC machines, computer-controlled milling machines. Now they can pop those same parts out in under 20 seconds. Using these incredibly complex high-precision steel molds, that's not just shaving off a bit of time. That's a revolution in production speed. That's how you slash costs. That's how you make the dream of thousands of these robots a reality. They're so serious about this that they've built a dedicated state-of-the-art manufacturing facility, which they've dubbed bot you. They pulled the wraps off this place on March 15th, 2025. Their initial plan was to make up to 12,000 of these humanoids a year from bot you. And that's just the start. Their long-term vision over the next four years or so is to scale that up to 100,000 units annually. And then there's the price. The target, according to reports, is hovering around $20,000 per unit. Now, for you and me, 20 grand is a serious money. But for a business, especially a large enterprise looking at automation, that number is incredibly cheap. Compare that to the annual cost of a human worker, including salary, benefits, training, etc. Suddenly, 20K for a versatile, AI-powered humanoid starts to look very, very attractive. Figure O2 was already turning heads. It was shown doing things like making coffee using a coffee machine, which okay, sounds like a party trick. That involves an incredibly complex sequence of perception, decision-making, and fine motor control. Figure O3 is taking that already impressive foundation and, by all accounts, building a skyscraper on it. It's not just a fresh coat of paint. It's a significant architectural redesign. Think of it like this. Figure O2 was like a high-performance concept car that they actually managed to sell in limited numbers. Figure O3 is their attempt to create the robotic equivalent of a Toyota Hilux or a Ford F-150. Incredibly capable, utterly reliable, and built to be produced and sold in massive quantities to do real work everywhere. The initial bullseye for figure O3 is squarely on industrial settings. This is where the need is most acute and the business case is clearest. Manufacturing. This is a huge one. Think assembly lines. Not just for cars like in the BMW partnership, but for electronics, appliances, all sorts of goods. Tasks like component insertion, quality inspection, machine tending, jobs that require precision and consistency but can be physically demanding or monotonous for humans. Retail, back of house. While a robot chatting up customers at the checkout is probably still a way off and maybe for the best, think about tasks like stocking shelves overnight, managing inventory in storerooms, or even handling online order fulfillment from local stores. But Figure AI's vision, as hinted at on their website, extends beyond the factory floor. They talk about a future where these bots are integrated into our daily lives, doing your dishes, folding your laundry, unpacking your groceries. That domestic dream is, realistically, much further down the road. The challenges of navigating a chaotic home environment, interacting safely with unpredictable humans and pets, and achieving the level of versatility needed for household chores are immense, but it's on their long-term roadmap. For now, the main thrust is to prove themselves in industry, to build a track record of reliability and utility. So the billion-dollar question, when can we actually expect to see figure O3 units rolling off? Multiple sources, as we've noted, have consistently pointed to a 2025 release window. Forbes chimed in on January 30th, reporting that figure O3 was up and running in the lab, indicating it was well into advanced development and testing. So here we are, in late May 2025, it feels incredibly close. It's highly likely that early production units are already being put through their paces, perhaps in quiet pilot programs with key partners. A wider commercial launch within the next few months seems entirely plausible. Of course. With technology this complex and ambitious, there's always a degree of uncertainty. Bringing humanoid robots to market at this scale is a monumental undertaking. There will be challenges and setbacks. You've got Tesla with Optimus, making huge promises, Boston Dynamics, the OGs of impressive robot demos, are also in the game. And there are numerous other startups and established tech giants all racing to develop viable, scalable solutions. Figure AI's strategic angle seems to be hitting that critical sweet spot. Advanced capability, genuine affordability for businesses, and a clear path to mass scalability. That's a potent combination. The big questions and societal questions will become louder and more urgent. How reliable will these machines truly be? What are the real, long-term implications for job displacement? It's easy to say they'll do the jobs humans don't want. But the economic shifts could be profound. What about the energy consumption of vast fleets of these robots? How do we ensure safety above all else? 
These are no longer abstract debates the university classrooms. These are the practical conversations we will be having very soon in boardrooms and union halls. Figure AI, with Figure 03, is essentially kicking down the door to a new era. They're holding up a mirror that reflects a future of work and perhaps life. That looks a lot like us, but is forged from metal and animated by silicon. Whether that vision fills you with unbridled excitement, a healthy dose of trepidation, or more likely, a complex cocktail of both, one thing is undeniable. It's definitely not going to be boring. This is one to watch, not just with curiosity, but with a keen understanding that we're witnessing a major technological inflection point. Buckle up, seriously.